Hey guys, good morning. So we made it to Mesa Verde last night and uh, it was like four in the morning. So we just kind of drove into the park, which is not what we're supposed to do, but uh, we couldn't find any other places to camp. So we just were like, you know what? We'll make good in the morning. And um, now it's morning. So we're making bacon and oatmeal. And uh, I already made some coffee as you have seen already. But yeah, so it's gonna be a good day. We're gonna go to the ranger station and plead for forgiveness. But anyway, good morning. Can't wait to show you what we have in store. We just got back from the visitor center. We are on our little drive into the park. We are down at the first ruin that we've seen today. Unfortunately, there's been rocks falling, so they have it locked down so we can't go in or even up to it, which is kind of sad, but we can at least take a picture from afar. And if there is no solution, then probably what's gonna happen is Bruce Treehouse gets closed. Um, what, what's going on here is it's trying to make an arch. Mm -hmm. the, um, the sandstone in the southwest, it likes to make these arches, and so you, you see the alcove itself, the roof of the alcove has already made the bottom portion of the arch. Yeah. I was just flying my drone trying to get some beautiful aerial shots of a part of Mesa Verde National Park, but it wasn't even anywhere near any of the ruins. It was super far off. It was right before you got to pretty much the entrance. And I checked my no fly zone little app that I have and the portion of the national park that I was in wasn't covered under the no fly zone. So it was like perfectly safe to fly. So I thought, and anyway, so we did this really cool shot. I'll show you here or it's gonna be in the vlog. I don't know where it's gonna be. But anyway, it was of the Jeep coming out of this awesome little tunnel. And uh, I flew the drone out over this field and was coming back and all I hear is like Chris saying like, Wyatt, Wyatt, Wyatt. I'm like, what the fuck is going on behind me? I can't turn around because this drone is literally like five feet away from my face and it won't come towards me anymore because it's on like autopilot and it won't run into an object. So anyway, um, I'm like hearing all this commotion behind me and I finally have to like literally snatch the drone out of the air and force power it off. And I hop back in the car and there's a lovely lady who so rudely interrupted this beautiful drone shot just to tell me that if I didn't get the drone down immediately that she was gonna fine us because it's illegal to have them in a national park. Which, yes, that is true, but I did check the no-fly zone and that location in particular wasn't banned. So anyway, I'm just ranting to you because every single time it seems that I've flown this silly little drone, 
I get in trouble. I'm tired of it. It is this evening now. We are making it food, so we are boiling some water in there because we have this fancy chicken fried rice pouch which is from like the mountain people so you literally pour our water in then you're done it doesn't even need to cook it's pretty cool we're gonna do some chicken for some teriyaki chicken Boop. and we're also going to be drinking some moscow mules um and then as the sun kind of continues to set hopefully some of the cloud cover dissipates because I want to take some awesome pictures of like, the cliffs as well as stars and just something really interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, that is what we're doing at the moment. We've just been kind of busy all day. We did that tour, which was amazing. Uh, it was lots of fun because you got to be inside the cliff dwellings, which you're not normally allowed to do. So if you pay for the tour, you get to see inside the cliffs. They're just about to eat. We put a little uh, spotlight up in the tree. Look at that, looks so good. And then this is dinner. Come on, focus, focus. Look at that, some teriyaki chicken and some rice. Super exciting, can't wait. We also have Moscow mules, so hopefully here soon we'll feel fantastic. Can't wait. All right, so we just got done with dinner. We cleaned up from dinner, which was a super long process, as it always is when you're camping. But we also got the tent all set up. Look at that beautiful little guy over there with a little lantern on the inside. Uh, I was like, you know what, wait, we have the Jeep here. Why not take advantage of the warmth before we hop in a cold tent and have to warm up our sleeping bags? And we're also just taking this time to kind of drink our drinks and just talk. It's lovely. So anyway, I'm probably gonna sign out for the day here. I hope that you all had a really good day. I had a really fantastic day myself. And I will see all of you again tomorrow. All right, bye.